Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to see if my contraption for bending the 2-3 shift fork blank for X231 is going to work. Um, I got it out here. I don't like to use heat inside the building. Too many precious things to lose if that place starts on fire, but I've got the blank secured in there. It's not only welded at the back, but it's also clamped with this piece of angle right here. So it should not move and I have it placed right where I want it to be. So all that's left to do now is try it out and see how it's going to work. Um, I can only imagine the professional metal workers that have, you know, knowledge, talent, ability, and experience. I bet they were, you know, gouging their eyes out and plugging their ears and yelling la 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 when I was building this contraption. But, you know, might work, it might not. I know it's going to bend metal. The only question is, is it going to bend metal the way I want it to bend metal? So I'm kind of uh, excited to find out. If it doesn't work, ain't a big deal. I'll fail in front of everyone on a worldwide platform that so chooses to watch doesn't really matter to me and you guys will get that entertainment and if it doesn't work i get the entertainment of getting to build something else out of metal so it's a win-win let's see what happens Now we let it cool. Well, now we see what it looks like. If it even worked at all. Looks like a tight bend. Won't know for sure until I get it out of there. Okay, now to assess how we did. I'll just compare this with the old fork. That outside bend radius looks pretty much the same. Flip it over, we have the heavy crease witness mark on the back side. Not as pronounced as that one, but I bent this one a little differently than this other one was bent, so that's no surprise. But line those uh, straight line crease marks up. Our angle there is looking pretty darn good. Check it with the other side. Line those up in a straight line. We're looking pretty dang close right there. So now we check width and we go on that heavy crease mark and we're about right on two inches wide where that heavy inside bend is. We'll check the same spot here and we're right on about two inches wide. Um, let's compare angles now. See if I can find a way to match these up. Hmm. Oh, dropping stuff. Okay, looking at it like that, looks pretty darn good. Let's see how we're doing here. Try and line these up, one right in front of the other. And I'm thinking, okay, get them lined right about there. Thinking we're pretty well on point so far. So, happy with this. Um, it seems to be a tight enough bend. I'm, I'm kind of liking it, really. So the next step now is to um, jig this back into the base. We'll somehow support it here, and we'll get it set up so we can bend kind of in this area here. The next bend has to be pretty much at the thinnest across points, so it should be a little bit easier of a bend. This one was a little wider. This one will be narrower, so hopefully it moves a little bit easier. But uh, so far, I got the first one planted right where I wanted it. So the hard part now is going to be to get the second one in the right spot, which will ensure I get my three-quarter of an inch offset. 
that I'm gonna have to have. So let's see what happens. Okay, to update you on the progress, the sun has come out and the snow is melting, so that's a very good thing, but it is bright out here. So hopefully that doesn't cause me too much grief with shadows. I've got the piece fixed back in there. See it sticking out over there. And I've got it bolted and clamped with this uh, wedge. That wedge comes down and is protecting the uh, first bend. And I've got it welded up here too. So again, I know that's not gonna move when I start putting pressure to it. You never want to underdo the overkill. So I'm gonna get in there and start putting some heat to it again. And we'll see if we can pull off the second bend. Okay guys, all that wobbling around you saw going on was not my jig in the press. It was the whole press. We're not exactly level here on the apron, but um, let's lift this thing up, see what we got. Seems like it pressed just like the last one. Okay, boy there is fighting this stream light out here. There is a lot of shadow to overcome, but looks like it's following the shape of the ramp where I wanted it to. So let's take it out of there. All right, so to evaluate, really, it turned out pretty much like I wanted it to. Um, nice tight bends, I got my three quarter inch offset right there. The vertical real estate that the 245s take up is the same as what the factory prototype fork was. I'm not gonna be able to lay these two together real well to compare because of that big goober weld that's on the back of the repaired one, but we can kind of position them close and you can see Pretty consistent gap between the two. They follow each other rather well. Um, oops, again, dropping things. See if we can do a comparison side by side on camera. Honestly, everything pretty much is right in line. Um, it's pretty much a carbon copy of this one for the most part. Um, if you lay this one, uh, the prototype fork on top of it. Pretty much looks like there could be a shift fork in there. Just take away some of the excess material. I can see that uh, I really didn't go out of shape at all because if I put my template over there, line up that mark for the bend, the lines pretty much all agree with one another and I still have plenty of excess around the top and around the bottom to trim out. So it's better to have too much on there than not enough. But um, so that's how that turned out. The uh, two three shift fork blank has been shaped. And I think I'm going to wrap the video up right here, guys. I know it's a pretty short one this time and we didn't make a ton of progress, but um, it's going to be a few more days before I can do anything else in X231. So I figured I'll just go ahead and get you guys up to speed with uh, where things stand as of right now. And when I get back to it in a few days, I'll just keep rolling right back along. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is start um, getting some sort of a sleeve figured out for the top side of the fork. Got some good stuff here I might try. Start turning that out. So when I get something done with that, you guys will know about it, I'll be back on. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.